Well, hello everyone, it's Adam here. This is definitely a first for this channel. And why are we talking about an in-car air compressor? Well, um, it's the first time I ever have to click that button, which is uh, that this includes a paid product placement. Now, I guess I wasn't paid. Maybe that button is irrelevant. But uh, I want to thank uh, DV Power for sending me this for free. Well, I paid a penny for it. Uh, I guess there's some accounting reason I had to pay a penny for it. Uh, but here we are. So um, before we get started, I should mention that I've wanted to buy one of these for a while. Uh, both my motorcycle and my car have the 12 volt um, cigarette lighter, you know, uh, socket in the car. Uh, generally, when you get a low air pressure or a flat tire, you need to to, to fill it back up and hobble to the next service station. Uh, your your battery on the car is, you know. Uh, fully charged and you can run the engine while you're doing this. So it's actually a really nice thing to have with you. Uh, it sure beats fix a flat, which would plug the hole. It beats having to plug it on the side of the road. And um, and it would allow me to, you know, without having to go to the local um, uh, gas station and pay the dollar now to, to fill up the car or buy a $30 uh, compressor extension hose for my compressor. Uh, this basically will be in my car or in the bike at all times and uh, will allow me to keep on top of the tire pressure, which is really important on motorcycles, mostly important on cars. It's important, but not as important in cars as it is on motorcycles. Uh, we're gonna demo this today on the Golf R, but, but so I'll go ahead and unbox it and see um, what it's about. Link below to buy this, and uh, it's model CZK3617, made in China. There's a lot of these out there. Um, so since I'm only reviewing one of these, and only one of these, if you, if you work for a company that makes these, Please don't send me a letter asking me to compare this to yours. I'm not going to do it. I don't need 25 of these around the house. But um, for people out there that wonder how these work, uh, it'd be cool to, to unbox. So I can't say if this is the best, but it did. It was actually highly rated on Amazon. Um, and again, I don't think they're paying for ratings or anything. I think it was. It's already a popular model. So um, the power. It looks. You know, if you look at the plastics compared to a lot of modern day consumer electronics um, you know it's got big seams it was obviously obviously snapped together uh, the the feeling is um, kind of tensile a little bit but you got is that already rubbing off you got kind of a faded sort of DB power logo there um, I'm guessing if I I scratch at it it'll come off no it's just faded for some reason uh, you know interesting like if you look at the bottom like the, the like an ink you know a printer running out of ink um, on off button pretty simple pretty substantial click uh, it does not come with a case so this is just gonna sit in your car and you know there's no there's no case for it uh, on the left side we got a cubby on the right side we have a cubby uh, when you're taking the right side out this is the it's about uh, two feet long um, uh, inflation device and on the left side we've got wrapped in zip ties the uh, plug for your 12 volt outlet, which I'm gonna unscrew this because it, it needs to be long enough to reach to the uh, the, the rear passenger tire. Uh, it's pretty darn long, to be honest. I'm sure it'll tell me the specs in here. 150 psi is the max. Um, cigarette lighter cords three meters, and the uh, it doesn't indicate the air cord. Uh, tested standard pressure is 42 psi. The Golf R is 39 psi, so you're within that there. And then uh, 150 is the max. Uh, full load is 10 amps, and you can uh, use uh, psi bar or KPI. Which, if you look on the thing here, you've got everything uh, is there on one one uh, readout needle gauge. Uh, you can reach it on Amazon. Yada yada yada. As a user guide, and yeah, this should be pretty cool. We're going to uh, we're going to try this out in the Golf R. I haven't checked the tire pressure in a few weeks. The temperature is getting uh, lower as we enter into fall, so this will be good to try with the Golf R. Uh, before we go outside, just uh, you know, after you're done with it, you can put this guy back in here. And you know, to be honest, um, when you put all this back together. And stick it in the in the you know underneath your your hatch um, in the back of the golf or in the in the luggage of your motorcycle. 
I gotta say, this is gonna get scratched up, right? It's gonna, the, you, you know, coming out of the case would have been cool, but it would have added about five dollars or maybe a dollar fifty or something like that to the cost. Um, I'd say throw it in a big sock, and if you're really concerned about marring the plastic, it's not expensive plastic. And I thought about taking this thing apart. It's only uh, six screws, but uh, don't want to avoid a warranty today. We're just gonna make sure it works. I have no doubt it works. But one thing I'm really uh, curious about is how loud it is. There you go, it's all boxed back up again. And just stick that in the back. I might ru ru uh, run a bigger band around it to keep these from coming out when I'm driving around. Let's get started. Okay. So, in the car here, we've got our 12 volt right there. Just gonna yank this guy out, throw it to the side, grab our plug. It looks like uh, the car is off right now, but I think it'll still give some power. Yeah, there we go. Got some power. We'll hold it for a little bit, a few minutes. It's nice to have a red indicator actually to show you have power. The red indicator is only on one side. I'm going to stretch this guy out. Let's go to the. Uh... So this is the range, by the way, which will definitely fit to the rear wheel. I would think it would fit. It may not fit to the rear wheels if you've got a huge truck. All right, take this off, and we are going to grab our plug here. So it's not very long for the uh, the plug length. Sticker on. Let's actually use. There we go. That's on. So right now we're reading. Uh, well, it'd be nice if they actually numbered it all the way up, uh, a little bit more intimately here. So you got to do 25 to 50. So you got to kind of count there. So we've got. It looks like 5, 10, 15. 20, that's weird. That is a very weird, I would assume between 25 and 50 is going to be around 40. But let's turn it on and see how it sounds anyway. May have to turn the, uh, the vehicle on. Yeah, as suspected, that red light is turned off. So keys are in the thing here. Turn that on. Just note when the engine's off, you are using your, your battery amperage to, to power these things. And turn it on. I bet car's got to be on. Let's turn the car on, I guess. All right, car is on now. I'm gonna turn this guy on. Ah, still got nothing. Let's check the. Uh... Yeah, so the red light's off, so we're gonna reseat it. Back on. Oh, it looks like it comes out a little bit there because the spring. If you look at the springs, they're uh, they're obviously gonna push back a bit. But if you look it down in, it goes in. And then it pops out slightly, so it might slowly push itself. I see right there, it's a little bit finicky right there, but that goes all the way in. Oh, so it might be if you, without a buddy, you have to kind of hold this in and then run over and hope that it stays on the whole time if you're super low. Let's turn this off actually, let some air out. That's loud, but hey, it, it's a uh, you know emergency only, I guess. Now let's uh, let's pack it up and see how it fits in the trunk. All right, so back of the car. Well, we got some space in there somewhere. Yeah, there you go.